So amigos, today is the day. As some of you know, I've been shooting 120 film for quite some time. I jumped from digital camera straight to medium format. The reason is that I fell in love with the medium format look and the compression of 80mm lens. To me, it never really was about film. If my bank account would agree with me, I would shoot medium format on digital camera. And in one of my videos, I even went as far as saying that I'm not interested in 35mm cameras. But little did I know that shooting film would completely change my look on photography. And today is the day when I'm gonna shoot 35mm for the first time. So a buddy of mine, or as he liked to be called, the greatest guy that has ever lived, actually gave me this Yashica Electro 35 aka Purman's Leica as a gift. As he said, the camera has been collecting dust for decades. My goal for the day was to test if the camera even works. So don't expect this to be the most artistic things you have ever seen. I loaded some Kodak Gold and off we went. So I took the last shot and this thing got stuck and I can't get it back and now I'm just rewinding and hoping for the best that the roll comes out good. <laughs> Moment of truth. Man, if I'm gonna open this up and there is like exposed roll. We good! <laughs> we are good! Like a Turning Dutch. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we are back. So let's talk a little bit about this camera. So it's Yashica Electro 35 GT, all black version. It has a sharp 45 millimeter 1.7 lens and it's aperture priority, meaning that you choose the aperture and the camera will choose the right shutter speed for you. So super easy to use. Super easy to use if you do find a battery for this camera. So here's a tiny problem. The production of the battery for this camera has been discontinued due to some environmental issues. You know, global warming and that kind of stuff. 
so you need to get an adapter. And damn, who would have thought that the film community is full with MacGyvers? I thought to myself that there must be an easier solution, and eventually I did find an adapter in Hong Kong. And I ordered a couple months ago, and it still hasn't arrived. The legend has it, it's still waiting to be packed. But one night, magically I came across a YouTube video and I found a solution. Thank you, Judaset. So you can take two different batteries and make it into one. I got one CR2 battery and two LR44 batteries. Save the LR44 batteries together so they don't move inside of the camera and it worked like a charm. You can still use this camera without a battery, but then it would fire at fixed shutter speed, which is 1 500 of a second. And speaking of shutter, it's so silent, I felt like ninja or something. <laughs> okay, let's, I will give you a comparison. So I got Shika, I have Pentacon, and Mamiya. And also, this Pentacon camera was a gift from my buddy, and man, I wish everybody would have friends like that. <laughs> Okay, let's grab a blanket. So you will hear the pure shutter sound without any echo. All right, ladies and gentlemen, let's hear it. So the first one is Yashika. And that's it. It's so silent. When I have to compare that to medium format film cameras, it's a massive difference. So here is Pentagon. And this is Mamiya, my favorite shower sound I have ever heard. Oh, it's so good. That, like, it's like music to your ears. If someone would come into my room right now, they would not understand. <laughs> All right, other than that, I really do like this camera. It looks nice, it feels nice. The only thing I was kind of concerned was the back door because it's moving. And I was concerned that there could be some light leaks, but no, it's all Gucci. And some people would say that it's quite heavy, but I really don't mind. To me, it feels solid, like a real thing, you know? And um, yeah. But most importantly, it takes pretty damn good photos. I love the fact that I can shoot 36 shots of it, where with my medium format camera I only get 15 shots per roll, so you do get kind of picky of what are you shooting. Where with this camera I feel like I can shoot everything, looks cool, snap the photo. For instance, I would never shoot a photo like this on my medium format camera, but I love it. It kind of allows me to shoot photos from my daily life, which doesn't necessarily mean that those are great photos, but in a couple of months or years, it's cool to look back at them, you know, appreciating the small moments in life. And that's where I think I sit with this camera. I wouldn't use it for professional use. Uh, there is quite a big gap in terms of quality between 35mm and 120 film but I would love to use this camera on a daily basis or when traveling. You know, like a camera that just like sits in your backpack ready to go. So, yeah. And with that being said, I'm looking forward to shoot more with it. I have a few cool concepts and things that I would like to try with this camera. I would also eventually want to do a test between 35mm and 120 film to see how big the gap is exactly in terms of quality and yeah, make sure to subscribe to don't miss out on future videos. Smash the like button, that is always highly appreciated on this channel and keep creating buddy.